Okay, so now that I've got these layers ordered properly, I might want to start animating here using those peg layers. And one um, also neat little trick to be aware of is that if you have selected a layer and you want to go up to its parent layer, then you can hit B, and B will take it up to the parent, and then B again will take it up to the next peg parent, and B again will take it up to the next peg parent. So it's really easy to go up the hierarchy. Shift B will take you back down again. Um, so that's a pretty good thing to, to be able to know about uh, to make it a lot faster to animate. But you'll notice now, and I'll just turn back on my animate button so that I see that being as yellow, I know that I'm, that I'm able to animate this. So as I'll go up that hierarchy, you'll notice though that my pivot point here is always staying in the center of my camera view. and why is that? And the reason that that is, is because peg layers, now that I've added these peg layers to my drawings, peg layers have their own pivot point. So, um, you know, you can either choose to use a peg layers pivot point, or you can take the pivots that you've already set on your drawing layers here, and you can promote them to the peg. So let me show you both of those. Um, the first one that I mentioned was being able to edit the position of the pivot point on the peg layer itself. So let's try that with our hand um, peg layer here. I can select that peg layer and if I want to um, um, change the position now of that rotate, I can use my rotate tool to change the position of the pivot. So now if I select the rotate tool, I see the pivot in the center here. I can drag that and that changes the position of the pivot of my peg layer. But you'll notice that it changes the pivot for the peg layer for the entire timeline. So it's nice to be able to do that if you're not working with multiple views in one timeline. Because if you're working with multiple views, then when you switch, for example, here from the front view to the three-quarter view, your, your peg pivot is not doing the trick. So long as all of the drawings here are overlapping, like let's pretend I'm just working on the three-quarter view here. It works really well. And that's what some studios do. Some studios just do one view at a time. They have a separated hierarchy for each view, and so they can simply use their peg layer pivot on its own without even touching the drawing layer pivots. But let's say that you do want to do multiple views in one timeline. Then this peg layer pivot is not going to work for you. It's not going to do what you need it to do. So the other option is you can take, and this is really pretty much an Animate Pro only option, Animate Pro and Harmony. You have the option of, if you look at the layer properties, I can double click on here to open up my layer properties window, or I can um, click on the yellow options box on my um, drawing layer there, or I can Oh, and it, sorry, popped up on my other screen here, so let me drag it over. Um, and so once I see my layer properties, then in the um, drawing tab, this is the middle tab there, drawing, there is the option for embedded pivots. And right now, it's set to apply embedded pivot on drawing layer. So basically what that means is when you're editing that pivot that you edit on the drawing layer with the drawing tool, then it's being used on the drawing layer, which makes sense. But what I want to do is I want to take this pivot that I've set on my drawing layer and I want to apply it instead to the parent peg. So if I select the parent peg option and now I go back and select my hand peg again, you'll notice that the peg, that the peg is taking the pivot now from the drawing, which is really quite handy to be able to do because now I can have the different views all on one timeline. Um, and so there's no right or wrong here when it comes to pivot points. It's really up to your own um, style of working, your own personal preference. Um, the one thing to be aware of is that this apply embedded pivot on parent peg option does not exist in Animate. It's an Animate Pro and Harmony only option. So if you're working in Animate and you want to have that flexibility of being able to have this same style of rig where you can modify um, you know, one drawing layer, but you can also modify the, the hierarchy there. And then you can achieve that 
um, in a way that they a clever way that they came up with in the in the in the video tutorial series that Shabana did on the website where she outlines how to use a drawing layer instead of a peg layer here um, which works okay as well but this is the way that we recommend doing things if you're using Anime Pro or if you're using Harmony then you should use a peg layer and a drawing layer and then um, you can either use the peg layer pivot directly by setting it with your rotate tool or you can use your drawing layer um, and then promote the pivot to the peg to the parent peg last thing I just want to mention here is that if you do something like if you promote the the parent level um, peg there up to your up to, up to your pivot on your um, parent peg but you have a separate pivot that's already been set on your peg layer then everything will be offset because one one pivot will be added to another pivot so basically when you're editing the pivot point on your uh, peg layer let me open up the layer properties of my peg and it's not wanting to open so let me try again sometimes double clicking is a bit tricky with this uh, tablet okay so let's do it from here take my peg layer which for some reason is all the way over here and I'll open up the layer properties of that from there alright so now I can see my layer properties of my of my um, peg layer and here I still have the layer properties of my drawing layer and you'll notice that in the layer properties of my peg layer when you edit the pivot what it's doing is it's um, editing the the pivot um, value down here and you'll notice that this is not something that can have a function in it over time. It's just something that's defined for the entire timeline. So if you ever get yourself into a situation where things are being offset like this and you don't understand why, then you can go back and put it down to zero, zero. And then now it should all be back where it belongs. So one last thing I just want to mention here on the subject of pivot points before we leave is you might want to know why is it that we can't change the... Um, position of the pivot on the peg layer and the reason that we didn't do that is because what a peg layer is is a peg layer is just a layer that um, that contains information about translation rotation and scale and it populates that information down to the children that are attached to it and what often happens is that you will have more than one drawing layer that are are all being controlled by the same peg. So, for example, when you're doing the head, when you're doing a rig on your head, you're probably going to have one rig for the facial features. So there'll there'll be one peg layer that will have connected to it the nose, the eyes, the you know the eyebrows there in the mouth, and then you'll be able to move all of those drawing layers by moving your peg. Um, but how does the peg know which one of those drawing layers it should use in order to determine its pivot? And that is defined when you're doing this use embedded pivots. So that's the reason that we can't just animate the peg layer over time because you can't swap a peg layer. Like you can't you can swap a drawing on a drawing layer, but there's no way of swapping a value on a peg layer because it's just a layer that contains that translation, rotation, and scale information. So that's the reason why if you want to have the position of a pivot animating over time, it needs to be connected somehow to a drawing layer. So hopefully that all makes sense and we'll see you next week.